Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I haven't filmed a video in so long. I film like vlogs all the time, but I haven't filmed a video in so long. So today I was like, I'm going to a hockey game. It's date night. I'm going to do a get ready with me. So get ready with me are really hard for me to film because I always get ready at night and I don't have a ring light. So I do use natural lighting. So I'm basically getting ready freaking early for this event. Right now it's only like, it's like, 12 and like i'm leaving the house only at five but it's okay i think my makeup will last that long i'm only going to a hockey game anyways but this is how i'm going to do my makeup for the hockey game tonight with my boyfriend i'm gonna apologize in advance for my blotchy neck i'm getting a new spray tan on friday but for now this is what we're going to work with okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to moisturize um my new favorite moisturizer right now is the lala retro whipped cream by drunk elephant so i don't take much but i just literally a little little pump a little pump like that and I'm just gonna put it on my parts where I'm a little dry so I've nothing on my face right now this is literally from waking up so I'm just gonna put it on the parts that I'm a little more dry the foundation that I'm using today is the Dior air flash I absolutely love this foundation I think it's super like airbrushed and I love it so we're just gonna go ahead and use that. The way that I'm using it today is I'm using um, a brush that was so recommended by YouTubers. I'm using the Morphe Y6. Laura Lee is one of my favorite YouTube video, uh, YouTubers and she always recommends this. To be honest I thought it'd be a lot better than when I got it but it still works pretty well. It is a bit blotchy but whatever. So a lot of people use this very differently. Some people just spray it on their face but I have eyelash extensions and I don't want to screw them up so I don't do that myself. So the way I'm going to use this is I'm going to shake it and I'm just going to put it in the palm of my hand. This is how we literally learned in beauty school. So you just spray it in the palm of your hand. Make sure it's away from anything that you don't want to get stained. And then I'm going to take the Morphe Y6 and I'm just going to go in there and I can just do some strokes. I did think that this brush would be a little less like streaky but it's actually very streaky um it's still a good brush definitely but i do prefer like even sephora collection gives you a sephora gives you a brush when you become a vip rouge member and i actually find that better than this brush so yeah it's a good brush but it's not as amazing as she intended it to be but she also has like filler in her face so she doesn't have pores that she needs to fill in or anything like that i'm just adding a little more I'm just gonna do the rest of my face. I also wanted to tell you guys that I'm doing a giveaway on my personal Instagram account. I'm giving away so many amazing products and services. So if you do live in Montreal, it's the contest for you. Um, I am doing a giveaway also for people that live out of the country, but you won't receive the services because it is services that only apply in Montreal. So if you do live in Toronto, anywhere in Canada, you can still um, apply to my giveaway or enter or whatever. I'm just gonna go on all the blotchiness. You can still enter my giveaway. It's a super cute giveaway. I'm giving away a lot of like, my favorite beauty products. Um, and I'm also giving away a gym membership uh, not a gym membership, a gym session, a free makeup application, free lashes, so it's really great. So you can go enter that. So the concealer I'm using today is the Tarte, Tarte Shade Tape. I do not like this concealer at all, but I do have some crazy pimples right now, so we're just going to cover it with this. I'm going to go a little bit on my chin, and some parts that I'm literally, like, I find a little goes a long way, so I don't go all the way with this, uh, this concealer. I'm just going to be going like this. And then this is in the shade medium. And then I'm going to be taking this one, which is the Becca Aqua Luminous Silk. And I'm just going to be going on the bridge of the nose because it's a dry, it's not, this one's more um, hydrating and my nose is very dry. So we're still going to go in with that Y6 brush and I'm just going to blend that in. The one thing I will say about shade tape is that I don't like it because it is drying and I already do have somewhat dry skin. That's the only reason I don't like it, but it's amazing for covering like any sort of pimple that you have like if you have any pimples it's gonna go away right away so if you really have a problematic problematic area that you're looking to cover up with makeup that's really a good 
concealer for you. So I'm just going to make sure that there's no streakiness. I'm just going to go over it again. For contour, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Walnut Stick Foundation. I'm just going to be going into my cheeks right here, going upwards the way that I usually do it. And then I just kind of make a little slant like that. And then I'm just going to be making my forehead a little bit smaller and also sh shading in. A lot of people contour their lips. It's not something I do. I do have larger lips, so that's not something I'm really interested in. And then with the Y6, I'm just going to be buffing it upwards. I find it to be very patient with doing your contour because it can look somewhat blotchy if you don't blend it in properly. So I'm just really going to go patiently with this. And then I'm just going to go a little bit downwards so it's not like a harsh line. Now the shade of contour is going to be way too dark for somebody who is on the fairer side because I do have somewhat of a spray tan on my neck and I was able to use a darker color foundation. Um, I can definitely use the color walnut, but you can get a lighter color with the stick foundations. I don't enjoy the, the Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundations as actual foundation, but as contour, they're very good. So you can go pick that up. It's a really good option. Another good option that's a little more pricey is the Bobbi Brown one. Now I'm just going to set everything with my CoverGirl setting powder. You guys know this is my favorite setting powder. I don't even own the Laura Mercier to be honest. On my clients I use this and you guys probably think I'm crazy. But look, go see for yourself. You're going to see that it's the most amazing powder ever. Um, it doesn't create any flashback. You guys know I take so many pictures. There's not one picture where I have flashback. Um, even on clients, I use it on their wedding days, on bridesmaids and everything, and no flashback whatsoever. I film all the time. I take pictures. There's no flashback. So you can go pick that up. Um, I get mine at Walmart because I find it the cheapest over there. They're really cheap, and they come with a lot of products, so you're able to use that for a while. I usually keep mine for about a month. So now that my face is nice and set, so I'm using the new Hula Bronzer that I got. Um, I'm using the Morphe E4 to carve out my cheekbones a little more and make it a little more defined and a little more bronzed. So the one thing about me is I'm very into a tan look even when I'm not. So if you guys see me putting a lot of bronzer and everything on, it's a personal choice. You guys might think it's too much, but that's me. Personally, I do that all the time. Um, you guys don't need to add as much bronzing to your face. I just like that look, especially because my arms are dark and everything like that. So I want my face to match the rest of my body. The next thing I'm going to do is such a crucial part of my makeup routine. Like literally every day, this is what I do. I'm using the Becca Chrissy Teigen palette. Um, it's so used that the back of it, like it doesn't even say the right, like I can't even see what it says, but I'm basically using the shade right here. I'm going to go pick up a new one because I hit pan such a long time ago. Um, I just take a blush brush and I go on my cheekbones. It'll make the most like difference on your contour. It's insane. So I'm just going to go on my cheeks bones or my cheeks bones. I literally don't even know how to speak English sometimes. I just go on my cheekbones to create kind of like a, a little glow. Um, I always put a highlight over it, but like you can already see the difference in the shine. And I kind of just bring that up to my forehead a little bit. Now we're going to go in with blush. I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in Peachy Love. I always take these two colors right here. They're a little dark, but I just take the smallest amount and just go on my apples and my cheeks. I'm going to do highlight last and go straight into my eyes. I'm using the Huda Beauty Palette, the Desert Dust Palette. I'm going to go in with Eden. I'm not doing anything crazy to my eyes. It's just like a regular night and day for me. So I'm just going to go, whoa, something fell into my eye. I'm just going to go in with Eden, which is like a kind of like a orangey tone right over there. And I'm going to go into my crease. And I like to bring it up a little high because that's the way that I like my eye makeup to look. It's really like preference. But I like to go higher than my crease. And then now I don't have any like long fingers so I can use my fingers. I'm going into the color called Cashmere which, which is the color right over here. 
I'm gonna go in with my middle finger. I'm just gonna go into it a little bit. It's like a very pretty, like, it's kind of like a silvery little bronzy color. And I'm just gonna go on to my eyelid. And I'm going in the lid and not higher than my crease or else it will create a harsh line and shadow. So we're just gonna go on to my actual lid. So once that's done, I'm gonna go back into my my brush this is this brush is actually the m535 and i'm just gonna blend the two together next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take amber which is the color right over here and i'm just gonna go on my outer corner i'm using the same brush because to be honest it's just like a little date night look i don't really care um if i was like going out clubbing or anything like it'd be very different but um let me know if you guys want to see more get ready with me because there's a lot of events coming up lately so i can definitely do a little get ready with me for each event that I do have and I'd be happy to show you guys how I get ready for all these events that I have so I'm just gonna do that now my eyelashes are all whack so I'm gonna brush them with my eyelash brush and then one or two might fall out in the meantime but it's okay now I'm just gonna take the Sephora collection coconut lip balm and I'm just gonna leave some on my lips because they're so parched right now can you even see that about your lips that your lips are parched now it's time for highlight i'm using the wet and wild precious petals i'm actually giving this away also in my giveaway so go enter that giveaway on my instagram which is alicia toldano um same way i spell it in my youtube channel name so go ahead and do that so i'm just going to use it on the sony kashuk brush that i got a million years ago and i'm just going to go on my brow bone and this is the best brush that I have for that. I love this brush for this reason specifically. I'm not going in with liner because my lash extensions make it difficult for me to do liner on myself. It's very time consuming and like really hard to like wash my face. I'm also going into my inner corner and a little lower than that as well. I'm gonna go on the bridge of my nose as well. The tip and then kind of like an explanation mark. I'm just gonna go here. On my cupid's bow as well you guys know the drill and now i'm gonna go in with um this brush over here it's the morphe r36 and i'm gonna tap into that and go on my cheekbones and i just go in circular motion because i do like it not like a straight line i like it a little blended and i go into a lot of people are like why are you going on your apples over cheeks well it's a preference and that's how i like my contour and my highlight to look so that's how we're going to leave it. I'm going to go in with one of my favorite, favorite, favorite uh, lipsticks. This one is Chanel Rouge Allure in 01 Delicat Test. This is actually discontinued. My mom bought like 17 before they discontinued it. So I have like a lot of them in stock. This one's almost done. Um, and like when I use these on clients, they always go try to buy it. And it's always dis discontinued. So don't try to buy this after it's discontinued. But I'm sure there's someone, there's something that's a little similar. So I'm just going to go in with that. It looks very like brown on the actual thing, but on it's like a beautiful nude. And it tastes like berries. Like you think I'm kidding. It actually tastes like berries. So we're pretty much done with this look. It's so simple. This is literally how I'm going out tonight. Tonight, nothing crazy. I'm just going to spare myself with the Hangover 3-in-1 setting spray. So this is the finished look. I'm going out looking like this. It's something so simple. I've probably done this look 20 million times on YouTube. But this is literally how I'm going out. If you guys want to see it, get ready with me. So I'm giving it to you. This is the final look. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And let me know any suggestions you have for upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and coming back to my channel. And don't forget to enter my giveaway at Elisa Toldano. I'll see you guys in my next video.